Fuck Peggy. Watch it wiggle, see it jiggle. Those are big ass bananas. Bobby, go to your room. Damn God it. damn it, Bobby. King of the hill. You know, I think I'm, I, 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 I think I'm ready. Break out the beers, cause we're doing a try not to eat King uh, of the hill. I sell propane or propane accessories. <laughs> I know this is gonna be a good episode. I know this is gonna be good stuff. I hope you brought your appetite. We are having Spa Peggy and Meatballs. Spa Peggy and Meatballs. Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready to try Peggy's I'm not, spaghetti. I'm not sure what Peggy does different. <laughs> She's just the best darn substitute teacher in the world. That's what she does different. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Ooh, those are huge meatballs. All right. Ooh, ooh, Spa Peggy and meatballs. The secret to a good spa peggy meatballs is the right amount of sugar, some grated parmigiano cheese, and of course a heavy helping of Peggy's charisma. <laughs> I got lost in my folks. terrible accent. <laughs> no, it's good. Keep going. I love it. I don't know about you, but I think that, 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 that accent is almost a little painful. I've been on a string of back-to-back -back losses for like months now, and they get worse and worse. I'm worried I want that prize. Oh, ooh! Damn. So stuffed with mozzarella cheese, spot Peggy. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Have okay. you ever had cheese inside of meatball? No. No, I have not. Oh. Okay, I gotta try the spaghetti now, too. Of course. Spot Peggy. Spot Peggy. Damn it, Jace. Every time I either eat or don't <laughs> eat, the, the punishment is always either the worst or the victory is always just like, it's like the worst kind of victory. Mm -hmm. That is real good. This meatball. How has nobody done that before? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. You've ruined me, Nicole. It has been years of you ruining me. It's Doing only it. been a year of me ruining you, Jack. It's enough. It's enough to feel like it's been years. Oh. It's delicious. Peggy, thank you so much. Not only would I let you teach my class, I would let you cook for me any day. You want to learn Spanish more? If I had a class. Yeah, maybe not Spanish. I'm going to tell you that you did a real good job. I just think that this is one of the best spaghetti and meatball meals that I've ever had, and I just think it's really good, and I really want to thank you. You know what, Nicole, at this point, I'm not regretting anything. Right now, I'm in bliss. These are tough because like, I forget what the punishments are, and I just reminded myself of what the last string, because they get worse. No, don't, don't, they don't bring in the punishments. Come on, enjoy the moment. Welcome to Team Shareware. Shareware. Wait, teach me your ways, is there a technique? God. Yeah, you just put it in. There you go, technique done. And so I'm like, You turn Peggy down like this? I'm gonna, I'm sorry, Peggy. I mean, this, to be fair, the presentation. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm a pass. I'm all right. Ah, lame. Look what I make, Peggy Hill Brown Betty. Peggy Hill Brown Betty. Peggy Hill Brown Betty. Oh my God. Oh. Her recipe missing one Liver. thing. Flavor. <laughs> and oh, flavor. Nutmeg flavor. Mm, nice little, nice little nutmeg. nutmeg. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yo. Min is taking Peggy Hill's Brown Betty to the next level with a pinch of nutmeg and a whole lot of flavor. Uh, uh, a whole, a lot, whole of lot of flavor. Flavor. <laughs> no. <laughs> flavor. A whole lot of flavor because hers was lacking flavor. Oh, wow. You're actually going to try it? Oh, good lord. It's good. <laughs> You're just not gonna... I, I'm like too oh, traumatized yeah, the punishment, right the now. Punishment. Yep, yep. Every good athlete, you know what I mean? You just gotta have a short memory. Did I miss that last shot? And get Maybe, but we're on to the next play. I'll tell you, like, the apples aren't that sweet. That's what's so great about them. This is Insane like, I'll be completely crust. honest. I think this is like the best food that I've had on the show. Uh, Lee. Uh-huh. I told you. Thinking about the punishment, it could just be something real spicy. Or, or Bobby just kicks me in the nuts. Oh, That's kind of... Bobby kicked me right in the nuts. <laughs> not, not a fan. I actually think this is pretty good. That was good. Oh my God. How do you feel about the fact that she named all the dishes after herself? I literally gave you shareware. <laughs> so I'm a fan. <laughs> Have you eaten that whole thing? Yeah, he's almost done. Monday night, it must be Frito pie with Wolf brand chili. Yes, Frito love some pie. Frito pie. Have you had chili with Fritos on top? I'm not the biggest fan of Fritos like that. I've never had anything like this. Really, Frito pie? No. There better be a naked cheerleader under your bed. <laughs> wow, you really outdone yourself. Wow, that is an intense Frito oh. pie. Me, just the way Hank likes it, we've got a lovely Frito pie with Wolf brand chili. How are you feeling on this fine, this fine Frito pie morning? How much, like, just give me an estimate. You know what, I'm not feeling good. Oh. This does not look appetizing to me. There you go. 
Don't ask there you me go. twice. <laughs> okay. I mean, oh, would you look at that? Oh wow. No. Love a good wolf chili. Made with real wolf. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta try it because I've never had anything like this, and I get a feeling I probably won't ever again. <sighs> the Fritos aren't. Uh, the, the smell is not giving me what I want. Delicious chili. Pack and make some main player chili. I swear. I love chili. I'm sorry. There's certain sort of like things behind it that feel a little dated with it now. So it's like Hank is dealing with Connie one time and she gets her first period and he has to take her down to the tampon aisle and he doesn't know how to say it to her. Oh yeah. He's it's... like he's like aisle 8A. Yeah, that that, that yeah. looks about the same as how it's going to come out. It does. It really does. You know? You can't go wrong with chili. Oh my god, you're making it actually sound like not that bad. No, don't worry about it. Would you but make I... this for Laura every Monday night? Nope. No, I like being married. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a little bit more. I like. Mm, mm. Really? Throw this into some water. Oh God! Ew, Sharon. <laughs> I feel like the before and after picture right there. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah, I don't blame you. No, I can't stop doing the accent. It's very nice. Daniel, this is your one chance to try Frito pie. You know what? I think I'll just go to Minnesota and get yeah, myself a Yeah, Minnesota. Walk. That's where I'm from. Close enough. Oh, you say Michigan? Yeah. That's oh, damn it. They're no, all the same. Another one of those. You're, you're all Canadian. Wow. Interest you fellas in a fried banana? Fried banana? A fried banana? I don't know about a fried banana. It's fruit. But it's uh, but, but it's fruit. But it's fruit. I've had fried plantain before, which is excellent. Oh, it's so good. I don't know how to, I don't know how we say it. <laughs> the monkeys must never find out. <laughs> the monkeys must Amazing. never find out. Those are big ass bananas. Oh my God, what Good the God. Hell? When Bill and Boom Howard discover the fried banana guy, it's not only absolutely delicious, but it sparks their imagination that anything can be fried. Oh my God, man. Honestly, this is the most tempting one for me so far. I love like fried plantain. Trouble waiting to happen for this me. This is very phallic-y. <laughs> but God damn, it's good. Is it? Sharon, mm -hmm. I need a side of like Nutella. Dude, just like a I, I'm, Bananas are good, you know? It's hard to go wrong with bananas. It seems so sweet. Go for it. It's not. It's not sweet. It's sweet, but... Monkeys must never know. Mmm. Well, yeah, you know, anything can be fried. I just don't know if that, just because can be fried doesn't make it <laughs> I was fried. like, what the f*** is she saying? I feel like chewing food makes you sound kind of like women. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he does it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else can you fry if you can fry a banana? I mean, I've seen an Oreo fried. Everything. I've seen ice cream fried. Oh, that's right. Twinkies. Twink. We deep fry Snickers bars. Deep fried Twinkies are like those are the those are the staple. I'll have to pass on the banana. Banana? No. I, I promise not to tell the monkey. Do you need? Don't get snackered. I tell you what, boy, man. I want to get all messed up and it just pollute our mind. It's like three sheets of dang old wind, man. Eat a white dog. Eat a white dog. Eat a double one. We're gonna get snackered, boy. I tell you what. Capricorn, a little of blue marrow mix. Oh, just add vodka. I'll tell you what. That that better have more than just mix. That better have the vodka inside too. I'm gonna sell propane and propane accessories. I'm gonna sell propane. Why do they sound like grown ass man? Goodness. No. Uh, this Captain Colonel. <laughs> this Captain Colonel's Bloody Mary mix is sure to get you snackered and help make your dreams come true. Oh, what's up, baby? That's how we do it. Thank you. I, lo oh. I love the presentation. I love also the label is so accurate. Um, <laughs> That's great. Smack. Well, I'm gonna get snacked. Yeah, you same thing. Smacked. I just feel like smacked is but just more aggressive. Just add vodka. So where's the vodka? You didn't like this. Stop, 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 stop. You're grossing me out. <laughs> it's You're tomato juice. Out. It's delicious. You know, I'm gonna personally pass on this one. I don't like tomato juice. I don't know. I love the taste of tomato juice. It's good. No, it's not worth it for me. There's no vodka in this. It's not like a Bloody Mary, so I'm not going to even force my way through this. You need celery salt around the rim. It's delicious. You've got a stash of vodka somewhere that I think if you really put your head to it, you can bring it on out here. I agree. That's really good, though. There's a number of times where like Dale gets Hank into like serious trouble, uh, but Hank always like bails him out. Yeah, he's a good friend. Mm. Sometimes it's for me, sometimes it's not for me. This mm. is a no. 
I don't think it's worth taking a bite of the gross ass food I'm gonna eat later on. Man. Well, that is it. That is our challenge. Oh God, I barely made it through. I think I ate what two? Two. <laughs> Congratulations, Daniel. You were able to avoid some delicious dishes, and for that, we got a uh, feast. Nice. Good Makes job, sense. Daniel. <laughs> Both of us. Well, <laughs> some of the square. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll have some skirt steak, some brisket. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of steak. Steak fingers and a burger. Steak fingers and a burger. One veggie. Oh, all right. Uh, put some macaroni and cheese on there. <gasps> macaroni and cheese. It's not a vegetable, but it's definitely something good. Oh, look at this. See. This is all just for Daniel. What? I love Ash's steak. And an Whoa. Alamo beer too? Come on. Dude. What? For our winners, we've got a steak feast of skirt, brisket, strip, fingers, burgers, and of course, mac and cheese and ice cold Alamo beer. Yeah, what does it feel like over there on it's that side? I've for, never been on that side. I know, for once, it's beautiful. <laughs> I've never had steak fingers before, actually. I've never even seen steak fingers. Look at that. Battered. Golden brown, delicious. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. You know what? We can't have any of. Here you guys go. <laughs> what you are you doing? take it. What was that? Right. Goodbye. What are you doing? And unfortunately, yeah, yeah, Sharon, yeah, Jair, yeah. Zaria, Jackson, and Jace, you were all tempted, and for that, you must suffer the consequences. Let's let's see what's coming up for you. Great. Can't wait. I've prepared a little taste of Minnesota called Lutefisk. It's oh, Minnesota. Cause see, made by baking codfish in a solution of yeah. water until the bones become gelatinous. No! A gelatinous bones and cod? God. Watch it wiggle, see it jiggle. Oh, it stinks. What the hell is that? What? I've never the seen hell? that. Is that a gelatinous oh, fish? Oh. And for our punishment, we've got a Scandinavian Minnesota treat, a tasty serving of lutefisk. Never seen something like this in my life. Look, it's literally jelly. Yeah. It's jiggling! Are you kidding me? That smells so bad. So you've had lutefisk before, Sharon? I have. It's your favorite? No, it's not my favorite. This lutefisk is ludicrous. Why do I have to eat this? I a, am 100% like, like disturbed right now. Yeah, okay. It's just jello fish, that's what it is. This burger is wonderful. <laughs> The texture is not pleasant. I'm tearing up. I'm so glad I won today. <laughs> May I just remind the audience that I'm having a great time over here with my steak. <laughs> it's I see why Jerry threatens him. <laughs> I mean, it's so fishy. I'm gonna go, my burp. Don't burp at me. <laughs> my, burps, my burps felt like fish. Did you ever think you were gonna have jello fish? No. And I love Jello, and I think Nicole, you've ruined another food for me. <laughs> Would you say that? Uh, I'll take one more with you. Loot the fish. Oh. All right, last bite. That texture is killing me. That is <laughs> disgusting. Daniel. Yeah. You do the goodbyes. Like I'm out on this. All right, well, I'm having. Do this. Bye, guys. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Ash! That was good. Right. That was a good episode. That was good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And well, have you ever had this Minnesota delicacy of Lutefisk Gash? Oh, I gotta say, I sure haven't. Nope. Well, cheers. Cheers to us. Cheers. All right, till next time. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, Minnesotans. Sorry, Norwegians. Sorry to anyone that enjoys this.